G'day guys, Pete Pete's Tools, another beautiful day here in the South Pacific, awesome to see you back here again. Hey, I want to have another go at making some sort of guide with my magnets. After that last disaster I had, uh, did you guys see my last disaster with the old uh, with the old magnetic circle cutter thing? I'll put, a, uh, I'll put a link in the description down below if you want to go and have a look and have a laugh at that one. But anyway, I learned a lot from that and you guys in the comments told me a lot of what I was doing wrong. So now I'm going to try and uh, do another one, but I'm going to try and do a straight edge one. So if you're doing your G-clamps and that to hold the stuff down while you're trying to cut it with the plasma cutter. Anyway guys, uh, remember, same as usual, if you like my video, subscribe, come and drop me a like, drop me a comment, come, just come say good day. And uh, we'll get into this video, eh? So I found this old steel ruler the other day, one of my dumpsters, so I thought, yeah, you'll have that. Actually, it was, a, it was an old square, but it was sort of a bit mangled on the end. So I just rounded off the end there. And I cut the, the square attachment off it, and I thought, I wonder if I can make a couple of magnetic guides from the old plasma cutter for when I'm cutting, cutting straight lines or maybe even angles. And maybe I can use the magnets and make something like that that I can just cut around. It saves me bloody putting G clamps on the top and on the bottom of the stuff, you know, as you do. Uh, if you get anything longer than about three foot, you have to use these bloody G clamps, and oh, I don't know, I think it's just a pain in the bum, really. But that's just me. So I thought, I wonder if I can use the magnets that I had and uh, make something useful like a, a, a cutter guide or something for the old plasma cutter. So anyway, let's have a go and see what we come up with, eh? So I don't know if you've seen my last video or not where I was using these things to try and cut circles out. That was a bit of a bit of a disaster, that one. But uh, yeah, you should go and watch that and have a bit of a giggle. But anyway, um, what I learnt, and I learnt from you guys as well, is the magnetic forces of the old these um, earth magnets, because they're quite strong little magnets. And a plasma cutter tip, they don't really mix because uh, it tends to pull the... Uh, pull the arc of the plasma cutter to one side and it virtually buggers your tip straight away. So that's really not the really object of the exercise. So my theory was if I had a wider piece of plate like this and I put my magnets like in the middle and I had a fair distance away, a fair distance away from where I was where I was cutting and I also used the, the torch to, to space it out again, then it might work. So anyway, that's my theory and uh, I'm sticking with it. So let's have a go and see if we can get it to go. So my thoughts guys were just to put a magnet about there, one about there, and one at the end here. So we use this three magnets, and then if I use the other, the smaller piece that I've got, um, I'd put a magnet in the centre so I could swivel it around, if you understand what I'm saying, in conjunction with this one, so I could, could do different angles. So anyway, we'll see how we go. So I've got a centre punch these three holes and then I've got to send a bunch of hole in the, in the other one then drill Probably out. won't work but you know I mean, guys will give it in there a go once eh? you got to give it a go eh? you got to be in to win so we'll put a hole about there a centre hole go roughly to the centre but I want to try and keep it away from my cutting edge because that magnetic thing does the weird things and there and I'm just going to rivet these magnets on here. There's the other end of this, guys. So we'll put one about here. So that's those three. We'll get the little piece. The piece. I like the idea of this because it's got the ruler on it. And I can actually measure stuff when I'm using it as a, as a guide as well. So that's pretty cool. So anyway, uh, we'll put one in the centre here. But... So you don't need a ruler, just anything steel, straight steel would do. Um, just make sure it's quite wide, I'd go like an inch or an inch and a half because this magnetic thing is a bit, bit weird, eh? Anyway, well I'll uh, drill them out guys. So guys, I'm using real small drill bits for this because I'm using a really small rivet. So you can use bolts or whatever, just drill the hole that you need, the size that you need of course. One. Move them along to the middle. Well, roughly what the middle was, Pete. Number two, woohoo! One more to go on this big one, Pete. All right, and because this is an old ruler that I found at the dump in one of my bins, pick the best side of it so that you can see the numbers and that that you can uh, cut against, and put the magnets on the worst. See that there? That's got a rusty piece on it there. So what I'll do is I'll put the magnets on this side, and we'll use this side. So I've got my uh, magnets here, guys. These earth magnet things. I'll put some links down below if you want to buy some of these. They're quite cool for making projects, and they're really, really strong for what they are. I'm um, quite impressed with the magnets, but uh, yeah. Right. So I'm going to be using pot rivets for this. So uh, just a little pot rivet, and we'll um, stick it in here. If you buy these magnets, make sure you get the ones that you can actually attach it to, because some of them are just like a, a quarter or a penny, and they don't have a hole through the middle of them. 
So um, just make sure that you get the ones with the holes in. That gives you a lot more options that you can attach them to things and do all sorts of things with them. So anyway, uh, here's my ruler. So we'll stick that in there like that. And then we'll uh, rivet them up. When you're doing this, guys, make sure you put the magnet with the, this piece here. You can see that you get the magnet in the, the two different shapes. There's one inside the other. Make sure you put that out so it's going to stick on your work. Because otherwise, if you do it the other way around, it's not magnetic. So you don't really want that because that would suck, really. So, uh, yeah, we'll just put them in there. Like so. Put the rivet in. And then we'll just rivet them up. So I just got them like that, like that, and we'll just rivet them up. There we go. It's actually quite hard to get the rivet gun out of the thing. I thought it was still connected, but it wasn't. It's just the pull of the magnet. So there we go, just like that. It's not going anywhere. That's good. Stick them down there. Here, I'm stick to that, and that's awesome. Right, now we'll do the same with the other three. So we'll just rivet the other three magnets on. Take us that long. There we go. Beautiful. Three magnets. Oh, riveted on there. Looks pretty good. Right. Now, let's go and see if the bloody thing works. So, guys, I've got my hunk of flat 3mm plate here. I've got my contraption that I just made, the longer version of it, so let's see how we go. This edge here is pretty rough, so we'll see how we go with that, and uh, see if she'll stick on for a start. Holy crap. And that is, that is off there, man. Look at that. Just got the whole plate with that, that's pretty cool. It's not going anywhere, you're not going to knock it around. So will it cut? That's the thing, will it cut? It's uh, a lot better than trying to hold the thing anyway, because you can actually put a lot of force on that, and look, it takes a lot to move that over. And with the uh, with the with the guide coming down here, you can do your marking, you can do all sorts of things. Anyway, we'll see if we're freaking thing will cut, eh? That looks pretty good to me. Kick that out of the way, Pete, before you burn something. Look at that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it works. If I can get this off, it, it actually looks, guys. It's got that much suction on there that it bends this. Bends the steel ruler. This is a hardened steel ruler. Look at that. It's not bad, eh? Not bad of an inch. See that, guys? Pretty cool. Alright. Now let's... Alright, so now let's see if I can do something different with it. If I go, we'll go up this way. If I go like straight from there to there. Save argument's sake, and then save argument's sake, I want to come down here and put an angle on that. Well, is that going to work? So I'll put the magnet on there like that. So what do I want it? So I want it at 40 mil from there. So we've got 40 mil from there. On, on my markings, on my ruler there. So let's see if we can do that. that on there anymore we want to cut it off cut the corner off so we'll just cut the corner off eh? 
we'll go they there because we don't want to lose too much out of here don't want to lose too much steel but we want to take this chunk out of here so let's do it that way eh? I can do a V. You reckon I can do a V? Let's try and do a V. I'm going to cut a V shape out of there. Right. Now because I've only got one magnet on here, I'm um, supporting it with this hand here. If you notice I'm pushing down just a little bit on here to keep it tight, but not so tight that you can't move it to whatever angle you want, if you understand that. So there, this has got enough suction on there that you, you're not going to flick it off. So this is all good. So let's have a go at this, see what happens. Not too bad for a first attempt, what do you reckon guys? And I'm I was working backwards so you guys could see it with the camera. Crashy call! <laughs> I love it, it's good, awesome. Okay guys, that's about it for this time. We'll see you next time, eh? Remember to like, subscribe to the channel. If you've got any better ideas with magnets, just to let me know, but I'm quite impressed with this. This saved a lot of drama. Anyway guys, like I say, for an old ruler and about five bucks worth of magnets, Go and make yourself fun. Cheers, guys. See you next time. Bye.